Hey friends, in this video, we are going to listen to an interactive read aloud. And while we listen to this interactive read aloud, we're going to make sure that we're practicing, I'm gonna make sure that I'm practicing the comprehension strategy of rereading. And that means that when I don't understand something or I don't know what happened, that means that I'm going to read it again to make sure I can figure out what is going on. So this story is called The Little Red Hen. And this is a fable. And a fable is a fiction story, that means it is not real, that teaches a lesson. All right, let's get started. The Little Red Hen. Once upon a time, Little Red Hen lived on a farm with her friends, pig, cat, and duck. Little Red Hen worked hard. She kept their house tidy and did all the chores. However, her friends were very lazy. They wanted to rest while, while Little Red Hen did all the work. One day, Little Red Hen found a grain of wheat. She excitedly ran to tell her friends. She wanted to be a good citizen by including her friends in her plan to plant the grain. Who will help me plant this grain? She asked. Not I, said Pig. <clears throat> I am busy rolling in the mud. Not I, said Cat. Yeah. I'm getting ready to take a nap. Not I, said Doc. I'd rather float in the pond. Fine, said Little Red Hen as she turned away. I'll plant it myself. So it looks like Hen wants to plant some wheat, but no one wants to help her. Mm -hmm. All summer, the wheat grew and grew. Little Red Hen took care of the wheat every day. She watered the stalks and pulled out the weeds. The wheat grew tall and strong. Soon, it was necessary to cut down the tall stalks. Then, Little Red Hen would bring the wheat to the miller to grind into flour. One morning, Little Red Hen approached her friends who were enjoying the beautiful sunshine. Who will help me cut the wheat? She asked Pig, Cat, and Duck. I will also need help carrying the wheat to the mill. Not I, said Pig. <clears throat> I want to cool off in the mud. Not I, said Cat. Nah. I'm still tired today. Not I, said Duck. I promised my friends I would go to the pond with them. Fine, said the little red hen. I'll cut the stalks and bring them to the mill myself. So she cut the stalks, packed them, and carried them to the mill at the end of the road. Now, I remember reading on the first, on the first card that the little red hen's friends were lazy. But I don't remember how are they lazy. So I'm going to reread. I'm going to reread part of this card. Who will help me cut the wheat? She asked pig, cat, and duck. I will also need help carrying the wheat to the mill. Not I, said pig. I want to cool off in the mud. Not I, said cat. Nah, I'm still tired today. Not I, said duck. I promised my friends I would go to the pond with them. Oh, okay, I get it now. Because the little red hen is asking her friends to help her with the wheat, her friends are literally saying, I don't want to do any work. I just want to do whatever I want to do. Now I see how they are being lazy. Okay. 
I wonder what's going to happen next. Soon the miller had sent the freshly ground flour to the little red hen. Little red hen was eager to start making bread. The soft, fresh flour smelled delicious. She couldn't wait to get started. Little red hen called to her friends who were spending the afternoon outside. Who would like to help me make bread from the flour in this bag? She asked pig, cat, and duck. But little red hen's animal friends were not interested in helping her. Again, they sat lounging in the hot sun. Not I, said pig. I am too busy baking in the sun. Not I, said cat. I need my rest today. Not I, said duck. I was just getting ready for another swim in the pond. Little Red Hen sighed. <sighs> Fine, I'll make the bread myself. So she hauled the sack of flour into the kitchen and began gathering the ingredients she would need to make the bread. Wait a minute. Where did the Little Red Hen get the flour from? I can't remember. So I'm going to go back and reread part of the previous card. Hmm. One morning, Little Red Hen approached her friends who were enjoying the beautiful sunshine. Who will help me cut the wheat? I will also need help carrying the wheat to the mill. Okay, so on the last card, she needed some help carrying the wheat to the mill. And I remember that her, that her friend said, not I, because they are so lazy, they didn't want to help her out. And then when, then I'm going to reread some of this card that we're on now. Soon the miller had sent the freshly ground flour to the little red hen. Oh, okay. Now that I have reread, now I know where the little red hen got the flour from. She cut, she cut the wheat and took it to the mill and the miller turned the wheat, the cut wheat into freshly ground flour. Okay. So now she's going to take this sack of flour into the kitchen and get the ingredients to make her bread. Later in the afternoon, the scent of freshly baked bread floated out the kitchen window and drifted across the farmyard. Pig, cat, and duck smelled the delicious bread and wandered to the farmhouse. When they looked in the kitchen window, they saw a little red hen sitting at the table. She was going to eat the bread without them. Ah! Uh, who will help me eat this bread? Asked Little Red Hen when she noticed her friends at the window. I will, said Pig, licking his lips. I will, said Cat, hungrily staring at the bread. I will, said Duck, smiling at Little Red Hen. But Little Red Hen shook her head. No, you may not have any bread. I did all the work. I planted the grain, cut the wheat, took it to the miller and made the bread. Since you did not respect all of the hard work I did to make this bread, you may not have any. So Little Red Hen ate the bread herself. Wait a minute. Hmm. Why did the Little Red Hen not share her bread with her friends. Hmm. I'm gonna reread part of this card just to make sure I understand why. But the little red hen shook her head. No, you may not have any bread. I did all the work. 
Oh, okay. So now I understand. The little red hen is taking ownership of her bread, meaning that because she did all of the work and because she respected the hard work that went into making the bread, she wants to eat the bread for herself. Her friends were not helping her. And so since she did not have any help making the bread, she didn't want any help eating the bread. The end.